My name is Sarah Myers. I'm an apiarist here at the Bayer Bee Care Center. Today we're celebrating National Honey Month, which happens to be in September. Have you ever bought honey from the store and wondered how do you get the honey from the hive into this lovely bottle? Today you're going to see. This is a frame full of honey. It weighs several pounds. I can't wait to extract it with you. So what you're seeing here is a full frame with each cell, the honeycomb cells that the bees make. Now the honey is inside the cells, but at this point you don't see any honey dripping. This is because the bees have made a nice wax layer on top. To allow the honey to drip out of the frames, we have to remove the cappings on the cells. We're going to use an uncapping roller, which will poke holes into the honeycomb and allow the honey to drip out. Going to demonstrate that process, you see you gently apply pressure while rolling the roller across each frame and you may be able to see that the honeycombs are starting to pop open. This is removing that first layer of wax that the bees have put on the comb. Essentially it's like a lid to a jar. The bees seal the honey in the wax. You have to do this on both sides. So now that one side is open, we're going to move to the next. As you can see, the uncapper allowed the wax cappings to be removed from the frames. You can see the nice glistening honey on both sides, which means we can now harvest. At the Bee Center, we're using a motorized electric extractor that can hold four frames of honey. At home, you may have several different types of equipment. If you don't have an extractor, you can even use a bucket to just allow the honey to drip into. Other extractors may hold less than four frames or more than four frames. And some types of extractors even have a hand crank. Halfway through the extraction process, you will need to flip each frame on both sides. This is the first side that we started with before the wax cappings were completely full of honey. Now you can see they're pretty much empty of the honey. Now when we flip the other side, you will see there's still lots of honey in here. So now we will harvest side two. You do this with each frame and then begin the extraction process. So now we're almost finished extracting. You'll notice that the nice, clean, pure honey is dripping into the strainer and then flowing into our bucket. Next, we're gonna bottle our honey. So now our clean, pure honey is ready to bottle. This extracting bucket has a nice spigot and you can use any variety of container. I have a nice mason jar here. So let's watch this nice, clean honey come out. And once your jar is filled, You can put a nice label on there advertising where your honey's from. You will notice that there are lots of air bubbles in the honey. Once it settles down, the air bubbles will rise and you will not notice that, but this honey is ready to eat. So in celebration of National Honey Month, be sure to enjoy your honey in the month of September on your breakfast cereal, maybe your peanut butter and banana sandwich. At the Bee Care Center, I think I'm just gonna enjoy it by the spoonful.